What is up guys, it's the Muck Designs here and I'm coming to you guys with a brand new PSD AVI tutorial on how to do pop out logos and player um, player AVIs. So what you want to first do is um, open your Lightroom to whichever it is, <coughs> mine's this one, and uh, what you want to do is merge and put a logo in here which you want to make for the team or person or player whichever one and so you have this logo I'm gonna do the store logo and I wanna go to extrude nerves take the group with the AVI I mean the AI put it into the extrude nerves and nothing should happen because the extrude nerves isn't hierarchical again so uh, what you wanna do is click the extrude nerves go to object and click it hierarchical and it should extrude it once you've done that come to the movement object movement and just make this the length the desired length you want it and I'm going to do um, I'm gonna do 130 I'm gonna do 135 okay that looks good and <coughs> as you can see it's not quite like it's not really smooth in any sense so what I want to do is go to caps um, start fill a cap fill a cap and it's gonna be too big so just take this down to around let's do three two three three is good and make the steps 99 and 99 and it should be a little bit smoother and if you guys would like you can take your lights like go to light and simply put the light wherever you want it to be so let's do this and there we go and there we go it should look something like this if it doesn't it doesn't really matter it's close enough alright um, go to this right here click it click this and save it I'm gonna save it as sore AVI and <coughs> and just render it and I already say that yeah, I'm just gonna render it again and once you have rendered it you'll be ready to put it into Photoshop alright so sorry about the mess on my desktop I really need to clean it and yeah um, go to Photoshop you wanna make a new file new and it's going to look something like this. It's going to be 800 by 800 pixels. The resolution, make that 200. Color mode, make it 16 bit. And click OK. And, oh, my bad. And, yeah, it should look just uh, look like a square. What you want to do is put your AVI into Photoshop that you've made. And here's mine. And, what you want to do is go click, um, click, uh, double click it, go to color overlay, and make it, make it pretty, uh, grayish, something like this. Okay. And once you've done that, just make a new, hold on, just make a new layer. And in this layer, simply just try and um, click the uh, pen tool. It just pen tool the area, like the area that's not on the front of the logo. So pen tool that and click a color, something gray, and just fill path. And uh, let's make it fifty percent gray. All right. So it looks something like this. It's gonna look kind of odd, but <laughs> just do that to every point and uh, you guys you don't have to do this um, but I suggest it because it looks a lot more clean than it would without it so yeah I'm not gonna do all of these I'm just gonna do these ones that kinda look like they need it and here we go Oh, and if you guys haven't already, please follow my Twitter, which will be in the link, the description below. And, um, yeah, I'm trying to hit 
1k subscribers before Christmas if that's possible. I mean, not subscribers, followers. So yeah, guys, please check me out and follow. And just fill this path, and it should it should be gray. Like it should look like there's gray spots everywhere. What you want to do with that is make sure that the layer is clicked and click Alt and drop down. It should drop it down into the layer below, and just lower the opacity on this. All right, to around. Uh, delete some of this. Oh. Okay, so once this has been done and you have the uh, the stuff clicked, uh, take your group, <coughs> move it into the next place, which is going to be the 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 box you made, the 800 by 800, and make sure it fits on the screen. And once you do that, it's going to look pretty clean. Not going to look like it has much on it. But what you want to do after that is go to your images, find an image which you would like to use on the logo, and I'm just going to take this horse image and just drop it on there, okay? And <coughs> see, after that, put it on the top, the very top, overlay everything, and transform it so it doesn't take up too much space but there is some space on it okay so after this um, if if your image doesn't fully cover all these logos just simply rasterize duplicate it and just put it right there duplicate it again put it right there and and all right, it should okay, merge down, merge down. All right, <coughs> it should be completely covering the sore logo in the background. And what you want to do now is open the group that you made, take this image, duplicate it two times. So there's three of them. Unselect the first two and simply drop this down. until it's covering the sore logo like that. And after you've done that, make sure this is still selected, click normal, and go through until you find something that it burns into the logo without like destroying most of the logo's area. And there we go. We have this which looks pretty good. And what I want to do now is I want this horse to be popping out of the image and I want like its legs to come out, its head to come out, its tail uh, so what I want to do is I want to pen tool it I want to pen tool around it and make sure the focal point, the image itself is by itself once I've pen tooled it I want to cut it and make it into a it's single layer so the the horse is by itself and I've already I have already cut this but I'll do it again just for an example so you want to go to the selected image then the one you recently made and since this is all just um, since this is all just already um, the color around it is solid color. You can just simply click the wand tool and you can delete and it will just have the horse. It will have like nothing else around it. So now I have my horse and I want to get rid of these side images. I don't really need these. Okay. Okay. So now I have my horse and it is clearly popping out of the image. And what I want to do now is I want to take this horse, I want to put it down here, and below um, 
below on the original sore logo that you have you wanna right click and click a rasterize okay once you've done that merge the layer above it down and the other horse down into one solid thing so the only thing that will be popping out is the other horse image okay and now what you want to do with this is merge that down as well so now you just have one image one large image and after you've done this, you want to double click on the main layer, drop shadow. Oh, whoops. Got rid of these. No, let's don't do that. Um, drop shadow. And what you want to do is make sure the distance is zero. The size is 10. The opacity is... 80, let's do 90, 91, whatever. Click OK. What you have now is a logo with the um, with the main focal point of the image popping out, and it looks like it's still attached because there's no shadow dropping from the, the pop out. There's only parts of it that are dropping with the rest of the logo. So now you have that. What you want to do is... Um, get rid of that and now you just have one thing that's all you just have one thing and what you want to do is make color correction for this and here's the part of this gets kind of tricky uh, you want to make sure that like parts of it pop out parts of it don't and just keep keep the keep it visible but not to a, an extent that you can't like see it so what I want to do is I want to make this kind of icy icy looking like an ice horse or something so what I do is um, I click the balance tool it should come up. I'm gonna just take the sign down, make it a little, little icy there. And what you want to do next is click hue and saturation, and you can change, you can change the color of it simply by clicking, by moving this up and down. You can also take the saturation to zero, making it black and white or gray, if it is gray. All right, let's go back to zero. So yeah, you can change it to whatever you want. I'm gonna change it to. Uh, this blue looks pretty good and what you want to do now is curves you can click curves and you can darken it or brighten it and I'm simply gonna brighten it just a little bit so that it it has a little bit of a little bit of tint on it and what I want to do now is click channel mixer you can you can mix like weird colors in here but I'm not gonna fool with that because it completely changes it and I can get a gradient map and I can play around with that it gets kind of wonky but don't do that <laughs> and um, brightness and contrast you can change the brightness and the contrast to it the contrast goes down make it make it bright make it less bright and yeah so I'm gonna change that a little bit and um, the invert you can invert it looks kind of weird I wouldn't I don't know if you want to do that but yeah I'm not gonna do that um, the vibrance you can change the vibrance a little bit looks looks pretty cool um, you go to 82 you can change the saturation down to zero you can change it up a little bit I'm gonna keep that at, at one keep that down a little bit okay so now you have this done and what you want to do is you have the, you have your group you have your full group and what you want to do now is just take this group move it up just a little bit oh, let's get rid of this real quick sorry sometimes you'll have images that are not really supposed to be in here because you didn't erase it that much but yeah so now you have this so what you want to do is now create the text for your player or team so you want to click the text tool come down here and just type the name. I'm going to type Soar. Okay, and I'm using Bank Gothic BT right now, which is an alright font. I don't necessarily use it all the time, but yeah. So, edit, free transform, make this a little bit smaller. And, um, yeah, here's the text. What you want to do with the text is double click it. You're going to do stroke 
and the stroke preferably is going to be the color of actually probably it might be white let's do the color of the the main part of the logo and I'm going to turn that to 2 and <coughs> the drop shadow you're going to drop shadow you're going to put the distance to 0 and the opacity to 100 size to 0 and then go back to the distance and move it just a little bit to around 4 and the size to around 7 it's going to look something like this and what you do is color overlay and overlay it with white because the background's white and it's just the primary colors are sort of white and white. So you click OK. And uh, yeah, after you've done that, you can go to Inner Glow, Inner Shadow, Saturn. You can do some Saturn. You can do Bevel and Emboss. You basically do anything. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, the text itself. That's not the main focus of this, it's the image itself. So now I've done the text image, and now all I need to do is save it and I'm ready to go. So I'm going to show you guys how to just make the RGB effect. I mean, most of you know this, but what you're going to do is um, flatten the entire image, which is come here, merge group, and then just flatten this entire image. Flatten image. So now you have a flatten image, just duplicate it. Double click that layer, go to G or R, I'll do R, and just make put the arrows to the right twice. And it's going to give it like a, um, if you zoom in on it, you're going to see that it's red and green. And it's going to give this weird effect to it. And what you want to do that is just file, save as, desktop, PNG, you're going to save it as, Soar AVI or whatever you want to save it as and just click save and you're good to go. So um yeah guys if you enjoyed the tutorial please leave a like and a comment and yeah um my Twitter will be in the description below. If you guys could follow me that'll be fantastic and yeah thanks guys. See you next time.